watching this lying scumbag, anti-gun, pro-open border, anti-family, Obama-loving, New World Order-loving, George Bush war-loving propagandists, the state-loving, this tyranny-worshipping, little pretty boy garbage head, Brian Williams' fall is a very nice sight because it can be a domino effect for people like Al Gore, Hillary Clinton, and the rest of them. We just continue to be blessed. No weapon formed against us has prospered. I, I cannot tell you the attacks, the dirty tricks, the enemy operations against us, and I just have learned, I'm not confident, I've just learned to lay back and say, God, you handle it, and I can't believe what happens to everybody that messes with this operation. It is biblical, ladies and gentlemen, and I've been watching this for 20 years. 20 years. I've never seen anything like it. George Washington talked about providence, you name it. It's incredible what happens to people that do things to us, the, the, the evil demons that try to bring this operation down. I, I, I cannot describe what happens to people. Just everything they, every weapon they use against us does, it fails. Everything the enemy does is, is, ends up being turned against them. It's amazing. I just want to thank God right now for the blessings that this operation has had in the hedge of protection. As I know, I'm a dirty r r rat in the presence of God. I'm like dirty rags, the best I can offer. I do not deserve any of this. I, uh, but God knows that I'm committed against evil and that I do want justice and I do care about innocence and the unborn and I hate bullies. And so for all my problems, I know that's why God has supported me this far. And, and you know, it's like Job, if God ever removed the hedge and I was destroyed, that's all just part of life. I would not ever blame God, and God knows that. God knows that. Uh, and so thank you all for your prayers. I mean, I have no doubt it's your prayers that help, as the Bible says, helps give us that, that hedge of protection. Uh, but, but my life has been like a James Bond movie, and you know we don't get into some of the stuff that goes on, some of the things that happen, um, some of the things that people try on us. I mean, can you imagine? The White House run Media Matters has articles about us every day. Uh, can you imagine the type of crap that goes on? And I've just learned that it's all part of this matrix-like bizarreness. I mean, I just put up with it, uh, and, and quite frankly, I've just learned to take it in stride as entertaining. Uh, but um, it truly is the promises of the good book fulfilled and I just wish other people out there realized that the danger is in not fighting evil. The danger is in not standing up. The danger is in giving in to fear and submitting to this world system. There are so many straight and strong, pure, good people out there that if you would just stand up, you could have a great effect in the fight against tyranny. And I want to salute all our listeners that spread the word about the broadcast, that support our local AM and FM affiliates and those sponsors, and that pray for us and everything. Because what you're doing is just as important as what I do. And it is humbling when I run into the families and I run into the old people and the young people and the black, white, Hispanic, Asian, doesn't matter, who 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 just are in awe when they you know, see me out in public or something, and it's 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 obscene because I'm in awe of you, not not of myself. We are all in this together. We're fighting against the beast system. And I'm now digressing. I said I'd go to phone calls. I'm in awe of the fighting human spirit that refuses to submit to the devilish designs of these globalists. And, and, and I'm in awe of you taking action. This, this morning I was lifting weights and working out, and it just hit me. This is an all-out war. This is really real, and I know it's real. I've always known it's real, but it's real. I mean, we're really fighting enemies that are empowered, that are possessed, that are driven, that are fulfilled by a desire to hurt innocent people and a desire to hurt beautiful people. And I mean beautiful in your art, your soul, your love of innocence, your love of justice. They hate us. Do you understand that? They absolutely hate those of us because they're scared of us. They've stolen the world through fraud. Of course they're scared of those that have chivalry and honor and those that they can't buy. They're scared of us. They know good men are much more vicious and powerful than evil men. We just aren't wired like they are, so we don't do the things they do. 
And so we're blind. We have blind spots. But the enemy has blind spots as well. They're arrogant, and they can't help but declare their victory over us because they think celebrating the downfall of civilization will give them power. The downfall of civilization will bring down their world government, and on its rubble, we'll build the new civilization. You are watching the best of The Alex Jones Show, weekdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Watch live at InfoWars.com forward slash show or become a member of InfoWarsNews.com and help us take resistance to the next level.